Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our Virgo Construction Materials Estimate template. To begin with, let's start on the Construction Materials Estimate tab here. On the first column, it's, you'll find Purchase and Contract. This is where you would add either the item or the purchased item or the contract that has been signed. You can add that here. Next, in the next column, you can add the vendor or the contractor in this case. Next, you would add the project, what project it might belong to. You can choose to modify this by clicking the edit button here. And here you can choose the color. You can choose uh, to add an item, remove any item, and you can modify the project names as well. Once you make any modifications, make sure you always click on done, apply to all, and then click X next to data validation rules. Next, we have the status, under status. You have another drop-down menu where you can choose from if it's either paid, not started, ordered, or scheduled, shipped, in progress, arrived, slash completed. You can modify this as well by clicking the edit button. Keep in mind that once you make any modifications, always click on done, apply to all, and X next to data validation rules. Next, we have the estimated cost. This is where you would input uh, manually the estimated cost for that item or for that contract. Then you have a column for the actual cost of that item or contract. Then we have the deviation, which is going to calculate the difference between the estimated cost and the actual cost. Then we have a percentage of deviation. Then we have another uh, column, which is for the amount paid. So in this case, we paid the $1,800 compared to the actual cost. We'll calculate the amount due. Now, it's important to know that anything that's in orange, it will update automatically based on what we put here in white and based on the calculations. Then we have a column for invoice. You would add the invoices for the vendor or the contractors here. And then you have an option or a space for notes at the end. Now, this up top calculates the budget estimated cost. Now, the budget we would input manually. So let's say we have a budget of $10,000. And that's going to calculate everything else. This estimate is based on whatever we've enter entered here. Then this calculates the actual cost. This will calculate the deviation from the actual cost and the estimated cost. Then the deviation percentage, amount paid, it's going to calculate the amount paid, and this calculates the amount that is due. Let's move on to the Contractors and Vendors tab. Here, you would add the contractor or vendor company name. Then you can add here what purchase or contract it belongs to. Make sure that it always matches to whatever you have here. So if it's item number one, then we have item number one for vendor number one as well, which is vendor number one. Then we add the point of contact for that company, the phone number. You would add their email here. You can add a website to the company here. And at the end, you have a space for notes as well. And that's how you would use our Virgo Construction Materials Estimate Template.